my previous experience as an Airbnb and Webflow, what's in common between Airbnb and Webflow and the vast majority of businesses in the world? The metrics we care about are usually financial business metrics, things like transactions, purchases, subscriptions, the things that are talked about at board meetings. The problem we have is that the vast majority of tools and every tool before three years ago was not built to handle that data. And so we're sitting out here doing motions that seem like we're improving decision making, but all we can do it on are things like signups or clicks that truly no one cares about. Warehouse native architecture is the world's solution to that problem and a bunch of others. Why is that? The first thing is that you can actually use the analytical tools. So many enterprises in a post GDPR world, you cannot use them because they involve shipping out a whole universe of data to some third party to be scattered around the world and breached by some sort of hacker. In the warehouse native architecture world, at tools like Epo, we don't host your data at all. All your data is within your own cloud. If you're an enterprise who cares about data privacy and security, you essentially have to go warehouse native architecture just to keep your SOC 2 clean, to keep your security profile clean. The second reason to care about warehouse native architecture is being able to use business metrics and financial metrics. At Airbnb, the metric we cared the most about was bookings. Did people make Airbnb bookings and did they proceed with them without canceling? The source of truth was the transactional tables that drove the Airbnb application. And that data is completely unavailable to any product analytics tool or any event driven tool or the vast majority of tools up until three years ago. Now, tools that are warehouse native immediately use transactional table style sources, your Stripe data, multiple points of sale if you're a retailer and you're pulling sales from all over the place. All of these most important, credible business metrics, financial metrics, sales metrics, marketing metrics, basically any metric outside of product telemetry is suddenly available to you immediately through the magic of cloud data warehouses that are pulling these things all the time. And then the third reason is inevitably every single analytics tool you're going to use will show a result that is different than if you do the result yourself. This is a hard truth that every data person has come across. If you have two data people try to pull the same number, quite often they might end up with slightly different results. The problem is if you use a black box third-party tool, you have no way to know how did they calculate that number. It just gives you a number and you have to take their word for it. If you use a warehouse native tool, you can see every step of the process, step by step, query by query, you can reconcile all the way down. It's the complete opposite of a black box. So warehouse native, it's the way of the future. It's the way data teams need to operate. And it's a way you can finally make use of best in class analytical technology without sacrificing security, without sacrificing the use of your most accurate data, and while still being able to introspect and prove to yourself the trustworthiness of these things.